Morning friends, I'm glad to be with you in prayer today. Today I'm going to offer a prayer about unity, something that was raised up as a common theme by President Biden during his inaugural address last week and something that's an important part of our lives as faithful Christians and demonstrating unity in our faith and unity in our world. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we pray for unity in our families, our church, but especially in our nation. We pray for unity in standing for what is right. We pray for unity in standing for what is just. We pray for unity in standing for what is true. We pray that we can be guided to think when we need to think. We pray that we can be guided to listen when we need to listen. We pray that we can be guided to pray when we need to pray. We pray that we can be guided to act when we need to act. And we pray that we will know when those times have come. Friends, as we pray today, I invite you to think about how you can be a factor in the creation of greater unity in our nation. Lord, hear our prayers as we continue praying. There's too much hate, Lord, in a world where you have told us to love all of our neighbors. We pray that we lose any feelings of hate in our hearts. We pray for unity. We pray that we be guided to push hate away from us, to recognize it where it exists or is expressed, to be willing to point to it and call it what it is. Lord, there is so much to do and so little time to do it. Lord, help us to find unity in all that we do. Amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from the book of First Peter, from the third chapter. It's text that I've recently shared with you in prayer, but I lift up again this day as we pray for unity. Finally, all of you have unity of spirit, sympathy, love for one another, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil or abuse for abuse, but on the contrary, repay it with a blessing. It is for this that you were called that you might inherit a blessing. For those who desire life and desire to see good days, let them keep their tongues from evil and their lips from speaking deceit. Let them turn away from evil and do good. Let them seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Now, who will harm you if you are eager, eager to do what is good? But even if you do suffer for doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pray for unity. Be an instrument of peace in the world. Stand up for what is right. Have a safe day. Amen.